Some people call me Charlie Brown. Some people call me Chi Brown. People I used to go to school with might call me Dante. Tay. Tay Tay. Yeah. I'm Chi from Rough Ends, though. What's good? All right. You know what I'm saying? Um, so, Rough Ends. Who is Rough Ends? I mean, give me a history, a little history about yourself. Well, Rough Ends, we got our first deal. Well, let me put it like this. Straight from high school, we started working at the Fudgery. Um, spot in Baltimore. People don't know where you you uh, sing all day and perform like Keebler Elves making fudge. <laughs> and then from there, we was working on our deal. You know, um, we had a group called Total Mail, group called Forte, you know what I'm saying? And eventually, we downsized and it was just me and Dave, you know, childhood friend of mine that grew up with, Dave, um, David DaVinci Chance. Um, and we formed Rough Ends. 2000, 99, 98, 99, we got our deal. 2000, we came out with No More Shopping Sprees. By 2003, we came out with Someone to Love You. So, so. No More Shopping Sprees, what I mean, that was a hit single? How did that do? Oh, man, No More Shopping Sprees took us across the world. You know, I'm talking across the globe. Man, in layman's terms, yeah. what, what you know, was it a platinum hit or was it a oh, yeah, gold? it was a platinum hit. Number one, it was like our first number one hit. It was the first number one hit Sony Epic had before, um, well, since like Michael Jackson and Luther. That's what it said in Billboard. Um, yeah, it was definitely one of our biggest. It was a big monumental first step. Put it like that. What other hits do y'all have? Um, that went platinum or gold. Someone to love you. But you let I can read your mind. Oh, and tell you everything you're going through. So maybe I'll probably find a thousand reasons why you're alone and acting so cold, so cold. So tell me how long you've been this way. Maybe I can open up your heart I've been waiting all my life For someone just like you And I know that you waited too For someone to love you Alright, um, so How did you, um, Get involved with the collective force, man. I mean, what's, what's oh, what? Oh man, the collective force. I gotta take y'all back on the journey. The collective force started back in the era of 50,000 years. Feel me, my man Ray Luger. Rest in peace to Low Key, the God. Feel me. Um, it was a merger that happened, man, when I, I, I met these cats. And it, it's, which is crazy is my man Ray Luger. I, I, his, his, his mother Jackie was like. She was a, a real instrumental figure and me taking not just my music seriously but the music scene in Baltimore, you know what I'm saying? Just her, her love and passion for something that I had so much love and passion for, but for black people throughout. Music, uh, um, people in Africa, black people in Africa, black people in food, she had one of only, one of three in the world, full answer mama set for the head though. The real cold porcelain, like uh, um, bamboozled skin, you know what I'm saying? So, in saying that, you know, Ray Luger, good friend, good friend of mine, good uh, musical ally, you feel what I'm saying? For, for many, many years, um, started something that I believed in, which was basically collective force, which is forces from different parts of the industry, people like Ray Luger, got people like Mansa Butchie, Keto, <laughs> Grand Champion, you know what I'm saying? It's the collective force, it's a, it's a bunch of collective good things put together, you know what I'm saying, to make that banging recipe, you know what I'm saying, so uh, here we have it. What is the collective force to you, or what do y'all, you guys have to offer to the world, I mean, what, what oh man, it's like variety, 
it's, it's, it's a realness that's real. It's not like something like, all right, I'm a CEO and I'm going to go find two pretty girls from there. Two pretty girls from there. They can't dance because I'm teaching dancing. You know, something that's basically manufactured. Collective forces is, is natural. You know, that's why I was in, in song collective forces to speak about the elements because it's something that's organic that came together on its own. Just by people, word of mouth, by, by, by us. Oh, feeling the vibe and the love we got for each other. Then on top of that, we do music on a level that we do it. And just to bring it together, I mean, it's a, it's a, it's a no-brainer.